So a hot fix is coming later today. Today we go through all the details this hot fix brings to Borderlands 3. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Okay, so into the post recently dropped uh, where hot fix will come later today, 3pm PDT. And it addresses various issues reported by the community. So bug fixes. Addressed reported collision issues in various maps. Raised the iridium chest out of the dirt near the pterodome. Made a modification to prevent certain players from escaping out of the slaughter shaft. Addressed a potential progression blocker for footsteps of a giant's mission when fast travelling to a vehicle. Removed an incorrect text description for the legendary sniper rifle Stalker. No change has been made to the gameplay of the gun, only the text has been removed. Addressed a potential progression blocker during the on the Bloodpath mission. Addressed a reported concern that Emperor Spider Rants were causing the screen to shake infinitely. Addressed a reported concern where Rachel, the anointed's beam attack, was not properly visible on all settings. Addressed a reported concern that Troy was not spawning with his pistol. Fixed a type on a mission for Blood Harvest, the rebloodening. Weapon fixes. TDO e tech shotguns were set to the wrong value and were corrected, resulting in a damage increase for all TDO e tech shotguns. TDO e tech shotgun damage increased by 50%. Okay, so bloody harvest. Happy Halloween. As you play Borderlands 3 today, you'll notice it's even spookier. Haunted enemies are everywhere. For today, October 31st, only you will see a drastic increase in the number of haunted enemies. It's a great day to work on those bloody harvest challenges, Vault Hunters. After today, the rates will go back to their normal values. In the coming weeks, you will start seeing more standard anointments on your gear as the spooky season begins to fade from Borderlands 3. Anniversary event. We hope you all enjoyed the Mayhem on Twitch anniversary event. After listening to community feedback during the event, we are making two changes to Mayhem mode. The chance of receiving a weapon penalty as a Mayhem modifier will continue to be reduced at the same rate as the Mayhem on Twitch week. The drop rate for anointed gear has been increased, so that's pretty epic people. I did cover this in my video the other day. Marking gear as trash favourite on PS4. After downloading last week's patch, some players on PS4 reported that they were unable to mark their guns as trash or favourite while in the inventory menu. We are working on a fix for this and intend to implement it into the next patch. Turning off Guardian Rank. We have heard that some of you would like the option to turn off Guardian Rank. We're currently looking into how that can be achieved and intend to be able to provide more information in the future. As always, if you experience any issues, please submit a ticket to support.2k.com. We'll listen to your concerns and look forward to seeing everyone's feedback from this week. If you missed last week's roadmap, it covers topics like a larger bank, performance and stability, character buffs, target dummies and more. So yeah guys, that is what's coming with the hotfix later on today. Now like this said, if you do have any challenges left to do, like killing ghosts and so forth, today there's going to be a massive increase in them spawning. But besides that and the TDO e -Tech shotguns getting a damage increase by 50% and the increased anointment drops are still here, there's nothing massive really to report on. But I thought I'd bring you guys the latest information surrounding the game. So a hotfix will drop later today. Make sure you install it, guys. And don't forget these only apply to online playing. But yes, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.